Hello. The operation of the LCD screen requires various voltages. These are generated by the TCON board. More precisely, they are generated from an integrated circuit called DC-DC converter. For the description, we will take as an example the chip of the company Maxim under the reference Max 17113. This electronic chip is an integrated circuit with multiple circuits. It generates various voltages from a single supply voltage which is here 12 volts. Some circuits allow to increase the input voltage to 16 volts, this is the voltage named AVDD. Other circuits lower the input voltage to 3.3 volts, which is the voltage named VDD, also known as V-Logic. The circuit that allows the voltage to be raised is called a boost converter or DC-DC step-up chopper. This circuit is a switching power supply which allows to convert an input voltage into an output voltage of higher value. Here the converter raises the 12 volts to 16 volts. This is the AVDD voltage with a high amperage of 1.5 amps. The boost converter is similar to a voltage transformer. But this circuit is only applicable with direct current. The voltage rise is at the expense of the current. Here is the operating principle of a boost converter. The circuit includes a direct current source, a coil, a MOSFET, a diode and an electrolytic capacitor. The hole is connected as shown in the figure. The control of this circuit is done through an electronic chip which contains an oscillator circuit. The MOSFET plays the role of a switch. Its opening and closing is controlled by the oscillator circuit. The coil has the characteristic of opposing the current variation and has the ability to store magnetic energy. When the MOSFET is in closing mode, energy is stored in the coil. At the same time, the voltage remains constant in the load thanks to the capacitor. In a second step, when the MOSFET is in the open position, the energy stored in the coil is transferred to the voltage source in the load, giving it a higher voltage than the source. So thanks to a coil which has the characteristic to increase its voltage according to the variation of the current which crosses it, one can increase the voltage in a circuit without having to add in series another source of voltage. Another type of switching mode power supply is the circuit that allows the voltage to be lowered. The circuit is called a buck converter or step-down chopper. As for the boost converter, we find the same components, namely, a source of direct current, a coil, a MOSFET, a diode, an electrolytic capacitor and an oscillator circuit to control the opening and closing of the MOSFET. The principle of this circuit is to periodically interrupt the link between the current source and the load. We say that the voltage is chopped, hence the qualification of this kind of circuit of chopper. A MOSFET or a transistor is used as an electronic switch operating in a saturated or blocked mode. The buck converter allows in this example to lower the input voltage which is 12 volts to a voltage of lower value is here 3.3 volts with a high amperage of 2 amps. The 3.3 volts correspond to VDD, also called V-Logic. This picture shows the buck converter circuit. Compared to the boost converter, the various components are connected differently as shown in the diagram. The electrolytic capacitor is used to obtain a smoothed output voltage rather than a chopped voltage. Here, the role of the diode is to allow a continuity of the current, and to avoid the destruction of the MOSFET by avoiding the transfer of the energy stored in the coil. In this configuration, the diode is called freewheeling diode or flyback diode. As a characteristic, this diode must be fast such Schottky type or ultra-fast recovery. Its reverse voltage must be at least equal to the input power supply and it must be able to support the output current. The operating principle of the buck converter is as follows. When the MOSFET is in closing mode, the coil will oppose at the beginning to the current flow. At its terminals, the polarity is reversed in relation to the current source. It will store energy in electromagnetic form. When the MOSFET is in open mode, the polarity at the coil terminal will be reversed. The diode becomes conductive. The energy stored in the coil is restored in the circuit. There is a variant of the buck converter, where the diode is replaced by a second MOSFET. This circuit is called synchronous buck converter. The MOSFET whose source is not connected to the ground is called high side MOSFET. The MOSFET whose source is connected to the ground, i.e. zero volt is called MOSFET in low side. The device that allows the control of the MOSFET is called driver. In a future episode, we will see how the VGH and VGL voltages are produced from this same DC-DC converter. Here is the circuit which is in the same chip of the DC-DC converter which will produce the two voltages VGH and VGL. The details of this circuit, called charge pump, will be developed in the next episode. See you soon.